The reality of life on the road for a working band isn't always so glamorous. Long drives, lousy food, dirty hotels. So we felt it was time to give these bands a chance to relax, shake off the road, and enjoy a little bit of TLC. It's time to pamper the band. If you guys weren't being musicians, if you weren't playing music, what, what would you be doing? Um, uh, watching TV in my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> Living with my parents and watching Netflix. That's a good alternative. Now, I always thought that I would absolutely enjoy uh, owning and running a venue. All right. Yeah, okay, so music, music. Still music. So then okay. I'd still be in the scene, get to see my friends, yeah. but then don't have to go through. Cool. Yeah. What, about, what about like fantasy? Like just not possible but dream um, <laughs> not not to say that it's not possible but you know like uh, over the top fashion you can, you can, designer fashion designer uh, food critic oh, oh that's, oh, that's, that's yeah. a pretty good one nailed it yeah. <laughs> yeah, <food laughs> do you guys have a biggest fan somebody that you would give that title our biggest fan jim jim yeah jim, jim for sure jim. tell us about jim oh, jim's the nicest man He's about, how old is he, 60, almost 70 maybe? Mm -hmm. He wears a cute little bonnet type hat, although now he wears He's our trucker hat. Fisherman hat. Yeah, yeah. fisherman oh, hat. Yeah. He's been changing now he wears our trucker hat. But we just started noticing him coming to so many shows. We're like, have you guys been seeing that guy? That, like this fisherman <laughs> he didn't, hat with like, he didn't this come tourist. up and talk to you or anything? Not, like not at first. Oh, wow. we, we went up to him, actually, I think, yeah. because we not started noticing him at every one oh, wow. of our shows. And not and just our shows, our, our side project shows and our wow. bandmates shows. And like He's just <laughs> the ultimate supporter. Yeah, right. and he drive really far, too. And so we're like, where are you from? And he's, and he's from this small, it's an island, right? Camino Island, uh -huh. north of Seattle, oh, wow. you know, an hour north. But anytime we play out west, he'll be there. Yeah, he'll drive, like... 15 hours. That's awesome. That's crazy. Do you think he'll watch this video? Yeah, I'll probably. You really? He's we love you, Jabby, on the internet. <laughs> love you, Jim. <laughs> when you guys are on tour, what's the main thing you miss most about being home? Vegging out and watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> My bed is the best bed, bed in yeah. the world. Really? Do you guys have to stay on not very nice beds while you're on tour? It's just just random beds. Sometimes, random beds. Yeah. Sometimes they're better than beds at home, but sometimes, you know, it's like it's like a roll of the dice. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a roll of the dice. Yeah, we have a pretty <laughs> damn good bed in our Sprinter van, though. But that only sleeps one to two. Yeah. You have a bed in the Sprinter? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Memory foam, baby, eight inches thick. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. What's like a, a tour day schedule for you guys when you wake like? up and we try to figure out breakfast? We all text each other in the morning. Sometimes it's dirty, <laughs> dirty texts. <laughs> Tried to get us out of bed, then we need to go find something for breakfast. I, I, wait a second. I'm sorry to stop you here, but I'm confused about the dirty texts here. <laughs> I just, I wanted that start our last tour or something. I don't know. The boys well, are to I do some thing, corny texts. Yeah, well, I had, a, I had a thing going with a friend of mine that is. Uh, couple friends of mine they're brothers and they're just like the raunchiest brothers of all time and so <laughs> are they called like they the started brothers? sending <laughs> they yeah pretty they should be they started sending me these really weird things <laughs> so i just started you were inspired back. i started firing back and then just let the whole group in on it <laughs> it's amazing it's really yeah it's terrifying sometimes <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way to wake up it is <laughs> Cool. And, uh, okay, so we go get breakfast, and then... Start driving. Start driving. <laughs> hey, do, you, do you guys like grapes? Yeah. Ooh, grapes? Oh. 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 <laughs> what do you think is the best decision that you've ever made as a band? Mm. To do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Best decision. <laughs> um, yeah. To move to Portland. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where did, where did you start? In a tiny town in North Idaho. Oh, wow. That's where we grew up, and we just, uh -huh. after we graduated college, we just moved back in with the parents. They're the best parents. They're just, like, really fun, so it's not like it wasn't, like, uh -huh. a bad move. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely needed to get out of a small town, so mm -hmm. ever since we moved to Portland, we've been, like, a real band. <laughs> that's cool. So that sort of made it, that's where you really went for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. You kicked it up a notch. Yeah. What, how, what do you think of Portland? How do you feel there? Oh, I feel great. I feel super alive. Mm -hmm. I'm part of something that's happening. There's 
there's so many conscious young people who are really like-minded and mm-hmm. that's awesome yeah it feels really good It's a good